This contest, ladies and gentlemen, will be over six five-minute rounds. The first fall, submission, or knockout to decide the winner. Introducing a game from London, champion Mike Marino. And on my right, Man Mountain Moran. Thank you. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you. And here at the King George's Hall in Blackburn, up here in Lancashire, another freestyle session and a very special one because this is the start of a heavyweight contest. And when I mean contest, I mean tournament because there are four big men here this afternoon. Big Jim Moran, Mike Marino, and two others who have just left the ring, which will be meeting uh, as opponents later, Shirley Crabtree of Halifax and Kendo Nagasaki from who knows where because he never talks to me. But Moran versus Marino, six five-minute rounds, one fall to the side, and here we go with round one any second. Now, Mike Marino, the skillful mid-heavyweight, the champion of Great Britain at mid-heavyweight, at, at 14 stone 13. Oh, and in trouble already, the ropes gone already. The first blow struck, and immediately the rope, the top rope is gone. Mike Marino nearly went over, and it could have been a very unpleasant accident there. Moran threw him. Moran threw him, and Mike Marino very nearly went out over the top, and that could have been rather nasty. Let's stand right on the sense. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll bear with us a few moments, please. Thank you. It's a big question now with this top rope going as to whether they're going to start restart the round. Mike Marino having his lip checked because he's already a little damaged from that. What a heck of a start to an afternoon's tournament. Anyway, they seem to be fixing the uh, ring on the opposite corner. There it is on the right. The referee and a couple of uh, ring hands there, plus seconds, all working on it. And let's hope that next time it lasts a little longer. See how the crowd are behaving as uh, they're probably going to start the slow hand clapping and stamping pretty soon if this goes on for very much longer because they've been looking forward to this tournament. In fact, it's a very good house here at uh, the King George's Hall Blackburn. There they are, rather amused by it at the moment. <laughs> but I don't suppose Mike Marino is very amused by his near disaster there because that could have been pretty unpleasant. Anyway, there he is, calm as always, looking hands on hips, waiting to take on this giant of six foot seven. My apologies to you all. We'll start again the first round. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Townkeeper. And so, so here, without any mishaps, we hope for the first round of six five-minute rounds in this preliminary bout in a heavyweight competition tournament here at the uh, King George's Hall Blackburn. Mike Marino at mid-heavyweight, taking on a man a great deal heavier than him and a great deal taller. Big Jim Moran, six foot seven inches, 21 stone. There he is from uh, somewhere in the north in Yorkshire, but he'll never, he doesn't talk to me much. Remember the man who used to be Gargantua? Now is Big Jim Moran, and he still won't talk to me too much about details of where he comes from. Anyway, Mike Marino, the skillful Londoner, former from Milan, is going to have trouble here today in this preliminary contest. He's got an awful lot of height and weight against him. You can see the difference there. Mike Marino is already a big fella. You know, 14 stone, 13 of him. But he, Moran really makes him look a, a little bit of a midget here. And Moran, of course, is going to use his pure strength and weight all the time he can. So all Marino knows about wrestling, which is one heck of a lot, is going to have to come into action pretty soon here. Double wrist lock back hammer from Moran. Moran, the big man in the lighter trunks. Ernest Baldwin, the referee. Ernest Baldwin, the former heavyweight champion of Great Britain there. There's third man in the ring.
each time they're angling and what a strength hold so far. Marino turned it to a side headlock, but they still got it. And that's what the crowd think as Marino starting to attack just a little bit for the first time in this bottom. couple of minutes to go in this first round of six and remember the first fall is the one that counts here a back break here to Moran nice turn beautiful hip throw rolling hip throw by Marino with all that weight not bad 21 stone he was rolling then Side headlock this time to Moran. But Marino is usually get out from the side headlock. Dangerous, but he's already got a couple of cauliflower ears, so he won't worry him too much. There's the difference in height. Just about up to Moran's shoulder. Less than a minute to go now, round one. Oh, oh, oh. And that's on the corner, surely a, surely a warning for that, but only private. Half a minute left, and the, the forearm smashes. Quick and fast now from Big Jim Moran. Eight seconds. Well, that's quite what complaint uh, Moran had, but anyway, let's go and have a look at Mike Marino. This master craftsman, this perfect technician in the mid heavyweight bracket, has been the champion and of the mid heavyweight uh, range for so long now and defended his title on so many occasions but nobody has ever taken it off him yet mike marino one of the finest and most experienced technicians in the ring today but can he give away all this weight to his opponent this afternoon Second down, round two. Round two, and of course, no score in this uh, first semi final, the heavyweight tourney between Big Jim Moran and Mike Marino. Because one fall decides it. And that's Moran again, the great big giant from somewhere in northern England. Using strength holes again. The comparative light, Mike Marino. Marino giving away six stone, one pound here. And that is quite enough to give away without the hair pulling. And referee on his ball win, pulling him off by the ears. The only way he'll take it. Oh, yeah. And Marino going in there with a the fist to the stomach. But the, the rest were forearms, and the referee allowing a certain amount of it. And that is Big Jim Moran in the light trunks there. For once, back to campus. Ah, uh, fist thudding into Marino's bridge of his nose. Still blindsided for the referee, though. Now, of course, it's the heel of the hand going in until the referee team caught him that time. Or did he?
short range jab is really short because Moran was holding him with his left hand behind the neck. Uh, uh, uh. Back all over the top of the head. But Ernest Baldwin there reminding him to be allow his opponent up before he continues a move. Fingers were the all caught in that time. Dodged that nicely. And the forearm went through the wrist. The wrist caught the corner post there. Yes, the heel of the hand there because the ref's in sight. But not sure about that one when he wasn't. Just a couple of minutes to go now in this round two of six. Well, we can see that when he clenches his fist, but of course he changes the action altogether when the referee comes around the side. Ah, ah, ah. The crowd know it, the cameras know it, you at home know it, but the referee can't always know it. He cannot be everywhere. Mike Marino just doesn't know how to tackle this man. Even if he's, if he keeps the rules, he's got a, a heck of a jo uphill job there. Six stone is a lot to give away. Somehow going to have to bring this skill into prominence soon. Less than a minute now. Round two. That's more like it. That's the more distant move that Marino wants. That'll slow him up. That's more like it now. If Marino can use that sort of distant skill of his. Attacking from a quite a way away. And he's caught again. Marino has just got to keep clear of this big fella from the close in strength hole somehow. Ah, 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 ah. And he's turned it on the backhammer, lean back backhammer, but he hasn't got time to take. Really advantage of it in this round. Well, oh, big Jim Moran. There he is. What an advantage to have. His height, as we've said, six foot seven inches, 21 stone in weight against his opponents, 14 13, and a mere Five foot eleven and a half. Mike Marino looking like a midget here. The question is, can his opponent uh, deal with this onrush of attacking moves by pure strength? Sengzhou, round three. Round three, four rounds to go. One four decides this first semi-final. The heavyweight tourney here at Blackburn King George's Hall. Big Jim Moran versus Mike Marino. Marino in the black trunks. Oh, he's got too close again, Marino. Caught in a semi-Japanese stranglehold already. But out of it. Chance three now to Marino. Well, a punch to the stomach. And uh, surely the referee spotted that. He did, yes, he gets a public warning for it. In round three, Moran receives his first public warning. And Marino a little bit angry following that, and who can blame him? Just got him out of it. Quick thinking by Marino there. And the 
was caught again and the referee spotted that. Again, that old nice reverse grapevine there. Look at that terrific grapevine. From the perfectly enabling him to turn the arm into a backhammer. Moran goes for the ropes to get out of trouble to get the break. The referee, of course, forced to give the break if the ropes are interfering with the uh, match in any way. Double arm, Moran. Doesn't even bother to close his hands behind to make a full Nelson out of it. Takes the wrists instead. Now, has Marino got a counter for this? Turn. And beautifully done. Exactly the same thing on the reverse, but of course, Moran again races for the rocks. It's a great pity that moves like that don't get a public warning. Oh, the butt didn't help Marino at all. He shouldn't have tried that one. Didn't get his head down in time at all. Two minutes to go, round three. One public warning against Moran, but of course no score because one fall counts. The first fall is the one. You know, didn't even have to do the forearm again. Saw Mar Moran falling towards him, Joe just let him fall. Gets his man back to canvas again. It's the third time he's had Marino in this position. One minute to go. Third. Use of Marino legs coming into action again on the counter. Hug scissors near the ropes. But not too near yet. Thirty seconds. Turn from the head scissors. Good one. But can he get the pinfall in the next 12 seconds? That's all he's got. Five seconds. It's too late this time. Marino definitely not doing a Les Kelly there. He definitely did not hear the bell there. He was, too, he was a little bit too busy and too excited, and the crowd were also pretty excited as well. So, Mike Marino, there he is, and of course everybody here in this packed hall at Blackburn, hoping that he can stand up to this guy for another three rounds at least and get into the final of this heavyweight tournament. Checks out round four. Round four, three to go. One fall to decide. Moran versus Marino. Marino in the black trunks. There's Moran. <laughs> She's fist so many times now, but always so that the referee can't speak. Except once. He's got one public warning against him. Marino turning it in the side headlock. Yep, missed it, he went over the top, and Marino follows him down quickly for the cross press. Can he hold that? He has! 
So big Jim Moran not looking quite so big anymore. Marino comes out the winner of this semi-final by the 1-4 required in round four. And goes through to the final, which we will be seeing next Saturday afternoon on television. Stan Rylands, our MC. And by the only four required, your winner, Mike Marino. He was very lucky. He says that you were very lucky, Mike. I, I can't agree with him, Dave. Good as George on here. Second in the super heavyweight knockout class. It is again over six five minute rounds. The first fall, submission, or knockout decide the winner. Introducing on my left the mass star, Kendo Nagasaki, with gorgeous Joel. And on my right, ladies and gentlemen, a 25 stone, the blonde giant, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, of course, alias Shirley Crabtree of Halifax. 24 and a half stone or just over. I, I don't know whether he's weighed himself in the last, uh, uh, just for this special bout. It doesn't really matter because n he'll never reach 14 stone 13, which is the lower limit of the heavyweight bracket. So his weight doesn't really matter. Somewhere around the 25 stone. There's Kendo Nagasaki at a mere 16 and a half stone, his opponent here this afternoon in this second semi-final of the heavyweight tournament. Gorgeous George, his manager, as always with him, introducing him and nearly always arguing with the referee and MC and the crowd. A lot of ritual to go through yet with Kendo Nagasaki before you'll even think of starting round one with the sword, the salt throwing, the old sumo Japanese style wrestling ritual. And complaining that he's not allowed to go through with that. That's what the trouble is. His manager saying he must go through the ritual and the referee saying no time for that, get on with the bout. Round one and Shirley Crabtree, the big daddy agrees. George wants him to. Shirley Crabtree there doesn't want him to. The referee doesn't want him to. He's got his salt, I think, although he's going to compromise a little bit. 